6 a.m. Good morning. Welcome to another episode of Apple. I am Roger Allen, and this morning I will share you from the topic God Take Notes of Our Offering. But before I do so, let us pray. Loving God, I'm thankful to you that nothing passes you and you take note of everything we do, including how much we love each other and how much we love you. As I share today, I ask that the Holy Spirit will guide me. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. So, as we look at Mark chapter 12, 41 to 44, I will just share with you what is written here. And Jesus said, I'm sorry, and Jesus sat over against the treasury and beheld how the people cast money into the treasury, and many that were rich cast in much. And there came a certain poor widow, which made a father. And he called unto him his disciples, and said, Verily I say unto you, that this poor widow has cast more in than all they which have cast into the treasury. For all they did cast in of their abundance, but she of her want did cast in all that she had, even all her living. So Jesus take note of our offering. As we look at today's reading, Jesus and his disciples were in the temple courtyard, where the treasury chests were located, and he watched those who were bringing their gifts. He was close enough to see that a widow had given two copper coins. She had put in that all she had. Yes, brethren, all she had. She believed the service of the temple to be of God appointed, and she was anxious to do her utmost to sustain it. She did what she could, and her act was to be a monument to her memory through all time, and her joy in eternity. Her heart went with her gift. Its value was estimated not by the worth of the corn, but by the love to God and the interest in his work that had prompted the deal based on counsel to stewardship page 175 LNG White. Another very significant part is that this is the only gift Jesus ever commended, a gift to a church that was just about to reject him, a church that greatly deviated from his calling and his mission. As we look at Acts chapter 10, 1 to 4, it says, There was a certain man in Caesarea called Cornelius, a centurion of the band called the Italian band, a devout man, and one that feared God with all his house, which gave much alms to the people and prayed to God. So this man Cornelius, he was not one of those traditional Jewish Christians. As a matter of fact, he was not in that category. But one thing the Bible says is that he loved God and he feared God. And by the love of God, he also loved humanity and he shared what he had. Now, you would never believe that God would speak to a heathen, but he did. He spoke to Cornelius and he gave him instruction to go to Peter. And what we see there is that God does not look at the man or where he's from, but God pays attention to the, how he loves him. The word of God says he loved God. He was a devoted man and he also gave to those who were in need. Apparently, not only are our prayers heard in heaven, but the motive of our gifts also is noted. Let me repeat that. Not only our prayers, but how we give to people, what type of attitude we give with. And that is why it is important to give with the right attitude, because by giving to the right attitude, we are worshiping God and we are serving humanity. The passage knows that Cornelius was a generous giver, and the Bible says God loved a generous giver. He doesn't want us to give to him with our hearts swollen and covetously, but he wants us to give to him in our free mind, and that is where the blessing is. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. So Cornelius' treasure was with God, and that's where his heart was. Turn it around. Cornelius' heart was with God. And because his heart was with God, he gave him his treasure. And today, God wants our heart because he wants our treasure. And that heart is a lesson for us. Let us pray. Loving Father, each day we learn a little bit of more about you. As we look at today's lesson, we realize that it's not so much the amount you give, but the attitude of giving, the genuineness of giving. 
help us, O oh God, that even as we give gifts to you, whether it be our time, time, or whether it is our personal or our bodies, God, to you, that we will do so with all our mind, with all our heart, and with all our soul. I pray, O oh Father, that you will be patient with us even as we go through this transition of learning what we require, and help us to be who you want us to be. Please hear our prayer, answer according to your will, in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. So thank you so much today. I look forward to having you another day. Until then, God bless. A lesson for all, daily at 6 a.m.